Welcome to the Care Chronicles, the people show. Check the post rescue nation brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little extra excited for today's show. Now, each and every offseason, I, bro- I go through and I break down positions in the offense, the quarterbacks, the tight ends, the offensive line, on the defense, linebackers, secondary, the special teams, but there's one position. Let's just be honest. It's way more important than any other position uh, on, on the defense, on the football team, and any sport that exists under God's hot sun, and that's the defensive line position. It's not even close. I mean, quarterbacks are like a distant second. Defensive linemen are by far, in my very biased opinion, by far, okay, I'm just kidding, by far the most important position. Let's have some fun. Obviously, I get excited each and every time I get to talk about the defensive line, especially here at Nebraska, for no particular reason. I always look forward to this show. So, let's light this candle, shall we? Now, the defensive line coach, Coach Tony Tuioti, done a good job. The defensive line has continued to get better and better each and every year, especially up front versus the run. They're getting more physical, more stout. Now, we got to be more consistent each and every week. I mean, that Illinois game still happened. You know, I don't want to point to the, to the one game that wasn't phenomenal, but let's be honest. They played a lot better throughout this year as a whole, and that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay, we still got to get better, but they played better, especially against the run. We got to continue to get better rushing the passer. Now, out of a 3-4 defense, out of a 3-4 set, it's usually your outside linebackers that are able to get that pass rush. That's because they're put in the best position to do so. So it's a little bit more challenging as a 3-4 defensive lineman to do it, but I still think they can do it even more than they're doing it because it's a penetrating 3-4 defensive uh, scheme. It's not a read and react lateral side to side, which is almost impossible to get a pass rush out of. And someday I might explain uh, what the difference between the two is, if you'd like. Let me know if you'd like me to explain the difference in a future show. But anyways, they're getting better versus the run. Got to continue to get better. Rushing the passer. Now, as far as the defensive line, pretty much the whole defensive line is coming back. All right. We have three players who played 250 snaps. Well, one played 247. 247 snaps or more a season ago. It's quite a bit of experience that will be coming back. Eight of the nine defensive linemen from a year ago with game experience. Okay, we'll be returning as well. The defensive line had 93 total tackles in eight games last year. 90 of those tackle production, 90%. <laughs> Okay, 96.8% of the tackle production will be coming back. In other words, the players who made 90 of those 93 tackles will be coming back. Easy for me to say. It's like I get paid to talk for a living or something. Okay, now, of all the sacks that were made by the defensive line a year ago, 100% of that sack production is coming back as well. A year ago, all the defensive linemen combined played a total of 1,304 snaps. Okay, the players who played 1,265 of those snaps, basically 97% of the snaps, are coming back for this season. That's a ton of game experience. Essentially, Kim Green, okay, who was a highly regard, who was highly regarded when he signed with Nebraska, is basically the only non-returning defensive lineman with much game experience from a year ago. He played 39 snaps, which isn't a ton. Wish him all the best, but he entered the transfer portal. Other than that, pretty much everyone's coming back with much game experience. Now, a season ago, we were 98th in the country in the country in sack rate. Again, not phenomenal. Got to get better at that. But 21.4 percent of the time. Okay, we tackled opposing running backs on rush plays at or behind the line of scrimmage. That's top 30 in the country. That's much improved right there. Guys, keep your eye on. Ben Stilley, the most experienced and most proven player along the Huskers' defensive front. He's coming back for his sixth year of eligibility. That's a lot of experience, and he's a heck of a player. Okay, he'll be back for his sixth season with the Huskers. He played 467 snaps last year, led the D-line in tackles. Ty Robinson, dude's a monster. Played a lot, started a lot as a freshman. He's 6'6", 310 pounds. He's got great potential. I just want to see him get better and better and better. He was second most among all defensive linemen a season ago with 317 snaps. Played Casey Rogers, showed great improvement. uh, 6'4", 300 pounds, third most defensive snaps at 247, and led the defensive line in sacks as well. Other guys to keep your eye on, Nash, Polar Bear, Huttmacher, okay, the Polar Bear. Keep your eye on him. Love him. Interviewed him. It was phenomenal. Damian Daniels, one of the most improved players from his freshman year. He was flat out out of shape. He has come so far, and I love what I've seen out of him since his freshman year. Tate Wildeman is very talented, and DeAndre Thomas played a lot as a freshman under, Ry- under Mike Riley. Hasn't done much since. I want to see what he can do under Chenander's defense. Hopefully, he earns that opportunity. I can't wait to see what them big, powerful studs on the defensive line have to do. Ha- what they can do. <laughs> Throw the bounds. <laughs> Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.